The last topic for today is domain name service. It's called DNS. Again, everything on computers is based on numbers. Numbers. In the world of TCP, which most of you use, you have an IP number. Now, people will not remember in an IPv4 system that your IP address is 172.114.22.61. If you wanted to go to Google at 8.8.8 .8 .8 as a DNS server, that's fine. But if you start going into the, some of these other numbers like 222.144.161.88, you're not going to remember all that. So what you have is something called a domain name service. The domain name service allows you to put in words that you can understand. www.microsoft.com, www. Um, excuse me, www google.com, www.minneapolisbusinesscollege.edu. The domain name service tells you how to get to all of these systems. So it translates from the IP ad from the word that you use to the IP address. The IP address then determines whether you go through the router or you find a computer on your local subnet and then it goes out there and finds where that computer is somewhere on the network. It all works together. Also when we work about the DNS, there's an organization that assigns names to numbers. So you need a name server and you need to register your name. I register a John Peters Learning Systems.com through GoDaddy. I've also registered ajpconsult.com through Network Solutions. It doesn't matter. I just go for wherever I get the best price at the time. So the domain name service is one of the key things that people have to understand. So when you're setting up a computer, you need to know your IP address, whether you get it from your local network or you type it in yourself, but it has to match what's on your side of the router. You have to know your subnet mask and you have to know your domain name service. Thank you.